Perfect Turd Podcast, episode 49, Lamar. We're getting there, sir. Yes, we are. We're starting to do some Christmas movies, so we found one cute little character, one little Christmas treat, Lamar, the Ginger Dead Man, starring Gary Busey. What has Gary Busey been in? I mean, he's been in some classic movies. Well, he, he was nominated for an Academy Award for playing Buddy Holly in his early days. And then he was in some great stuff like silver bullet and point mm-hmm. break. Lethal you know, weapon, lethal weapon, mm-hmm. a lot of cool stuff, but now he's the ginger dead man. <laughs> it is yeah. what it is. You know, it, it happens. Uh, Let me, when you hear the premise, it actually sounds really cool. It does. You have Gary Busey. He's a criminal. He kills some people during a robbery. This girl that her family was killed in the rob- robbery, her testimony sends him to, you know, to jail. Ultimately, he gets executed. Yes. His mother, who does witchcraft, takes his ashes, mixes them with gingerbread spice, sends mm-hmm. them back to the bakery, ends up in the mixture, and boom, the gingerbread dad man is, a- is alive. This on its face sounds pretty pretty fun the movie that we saw not so fun <laughs> I, and, and here's the thing there are parts of it yeah where it's like okay this is what the movie is supposed to be but then the rest of it you're just like well yeah speed it up come on let's go yes yeah they got involved in a lot of like exposition and subplot that had nothing to do with the ginger dead man it was like <laughs> this weird thing like this tycoon is trying to close down her bakery and he's got some snot-nosed daughter that's the, and then there's some other guy he wants to be a wrestler <laughs> yeah what was and his... his alter ego is like the baker or something like that the butcher yeah. baker man the butcher baker <laughs> um you know and then all of a sudden the the other girl like she's got a boyfriend that's like the town tough yeah, ends up helping them, and so it's it's all this love triangle weird stuff. It was it was all goofy, like none of it belonged. I was waiting for more of the killing of the little gingerbread. Exactly, Wrong. and that's where they missed out. Now, a couple weeks ago for Thanksgiving, we did Thanks Killing, so you could check that review out when you get a chance. But the thing about Thanks Killing, they had the one good thing: the turkey. Yes, and they showcased the turkey, and everything else was kind of just you know, built around it. It was filler, basically. They did not do that with the Ginger Dead Man. It, it was like all this other stuff, and then Ginger Dead Man was just here and there. <laughs> all you needed was the Ginger Dead Man going around the little shop killing people. Yeah. There's a subplot where the town tough, he's like, yeah, you know. Uh... No, the main character who snitched on Gary Busey She's like, you don't remember me. I punched you in the nose one time and you tried to kiss me. Yeah. And there was like this weird, like, yeah, you know, I know you're the town tough, but I know you really have a heart of gold. And like, who cares? <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> I, I expected like the ginger dead man to be killing people like all around town, just wreaking havoc around town. Um, How many people he killed? one person that's right? it one person one kill in this movie everyone no, else well technically two but okay yeah two people <laughs> in the 90s there used to be some kinds of shows like there was one called monsters like sci-fi horror shows that were more family oriented straight not to too tv old, straight yeah. to tv that's this movie had that feel it was in this would have been a fun little episode of goosebumps or something maybe yes and okay, they do have ginger dead moments, right? And there, those are good. Cuts off a lady's finger and says, "Have you ever had lady fingers?" Because that's a reference <laughs> yeah. to another pastry. That's good. Yeah, that's okay. perfect. That's perfect. But that's like the one thing that happens. Yeah, it, it wasn't enough. It wasn't they enough. They had the premise. The premise just, was great. They didn't have, like, everything else that went with it. They didn't have, like, too many kills. Yeah. It was just, like... Eh. They didn't 
utilize Gary Busey really enough too because he was in the movie so little the gingerbread man was that you didn't give Gary Busey a chance like you said the lady fingers line was funny so right. he could have been cracking lines and stuff it would have been great and that was the thing like because when I was watching this movie um, I think I compared it another movie to like Dawson's Creek where I don't care <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> care like you could have actually taken characters out of this movie and mm -hmm. just gave the ginger dead man you know more things to do, more kills and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's all this background drum. The whole thing, because if you think about it, this what was it like the market or whatever across the street, that has no bearing on the movie no. at all. Nothing. It was just to introduce the characters. That was not important. Yeah. That's another thing. The movie was confined to this one location, which is a bakery. So it's not like it's not interesting. There's not like different locations and then he's here, but then he jumps out of here or gets you there. It's like it's all one thing, but it's like, eh. well, let's get into the rating. I, I'm going to rate this movie. Go ahead. Uh, Lamar, I'm giving it a one out of five. OK, I out of completely out of all the movies that we've done on this sh podcast, I had probably the biggest disappointment with this one. I had high hopes for this. I was like, I was like, this is amazing. Gary Busey. Yes. A killer gingerbread man. I was like, this yes. is going to be amazing. I was sitting there. I was like, I was ready to go. And then it was like, this, I'm giving it a one because it was a big letdown for me. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not too far off like a 1.5. Because the <laughs> yeah. premise is, like you said, Everything you said, this could be a funny B movie. Maybe they go crazy in the sequel because there are sequels. We'll give them but a shot. In this, yeah, we'll give them a shot. But it was just like we were just watching. I was like you. I was just like, okay. <laughs> next, next pun while you're killing. Some no. Yeah, and I liked the beginning. I was like, okay, they set it that up. That was, was like, hilarious. Okay, he's good. He's a killer. He's kind of yes. crazy. He's he's full on Gary Busey. He's crazy. But like, you're like, all right, this is good. And then. They went into the thing, and I was like, okay, when are we getting to the gingerbread man? And then they did the spice gingerbread man. I was like, all right, now it's going to get going. And then it just never did. Yeah. I'm like Hercules right now. Disappointed! We'll check out the sequels eventually, though. Yeah. See if Hopefully they take we'll get something, you know. Well, that wraps this episode up, Lamar. But our next episode, our 50th episode, a milestone. The man, the myth, the legend. Lloyd Kaufman. We're going to have an interview with him. We're going to be asking him some questions about him being a filmmaker, trauma, his most recent film, uh, Shakespeare's Shitstorm. So that's a big thing. Please tune in. This is huge for yeah. us. Yes. Awesome. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Don't miss it. Like, we're so excited about having Lloyd Kaufman uh, coming on with us. So it's going to be way cool. Yes, it is. And it's our awesome. 50th episode celebration. Mm -hmm. Right on. Can't wait. So. That wraps this one up. Ginger dead man. Eh. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Deuces.